What's going on, guys? And welcome back to New Super Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Here to talk to you more about Marvel Spider-Man 2. You totally guessed it from the beginning of this video. Marvel Spider-Man 2 Venom actor Tony Todd does say that the game is massive. Now, we'll go into a little bit more into detail about what that could possibly mean. Obviously, the context is not exactly clear, but we can assume so many things just based on that statement. But before I get into this topic, I want you guys to go ahead and click on that like button click on subscribe and click on that bell notification so you all don't miss anything. It really helps the algorithm and it really helps the channel, guys. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. My invitation link to my Discord channel is down in the description box below, along with the links to my social media, such as Twitter and Instagram. I post there on the daily as well. And with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this article and talk about why this game might be massive. So with the recent announcement of Marvel Spider-Man 2 at the PlayStation Showcase on September 9th, also came the reveal that Tony Todd would be the voice of the symbiote Venom, and he says the game is massive. And a fan asked Todd on Twitter if the casting was true and how long he'd known about it, to which he replied two months or so. Game is massive, that's why it won't come out till 2023. Todd is well known for his cinematic role as the titular Candy Man, which does line up somewhat with the Venom casting. And if you all know, guys, I've been actually speculating that the game will be coming out sometime in 2023. And it's just not as simple as copying and pasting the assets from previous games into the new one. Because if Spider-Man 2 is going to set to deliver and exceed expectations, we're going to get more than just the map of Manhattan Island in Marvel Spider-Man 2, we might be getting possibly Queens and Brooklyn. So exploring other boroughs of New York City. This game is massive and remember it's gonna be taking advantage of the console's tech and hardware built inside. And judging by the trailer that we got and the last video that I did talking about how the footage that you saw from the trailer is in fact in-game captured footage. Well, we can actually say that this game is long and massive in terms of story length and as far as the map goes. So there's a lot of things to speculate on and I cannot wait to do even more videos about this. So if you look here, Tony Todd did respond on Twitter that two months or so the game is massive. That's why it won't come out to 2023. And that's all we're gonna probably get. I'm pretty sure Tony Todd is supposed to keep a lid on it and can't explain more and go into detail about Marvel Spider-Man 2 until we get closer to the release of the game in 2023. So Marvel Spider-Man 2 is set to be a single player PS5 exclusive and will release at some point in 2023. From the trailer, it appears as though both Peter Parker and Miles Morales Spider-Man will be facing off against Venom and what sounded like Kraven the Hunter. The developer of Spider-Man PlayStation titles, Insomnia Games, has a lot on its plate at the moment as well, with both Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Marvel's Wolverine announced at the showcase. So while pushing the capabilities of the console will be very exciting, we're equally pumped to craft all new stories for Peter and Miles in this sequel, says the PlayStation blog post. Just as in our previous Spider-Man games, we not only want to tell a great superhero story, but also deliver a compelling human story. So one full of heart and human that dives into the people behind the mask. We wrote up all the big announcements at the PlayStation Showcase, which you can totally check out on the PlayStation blog website whenever you get a chance. There was a gameplay for God of War, Ragnarok, Gran Turismo 7, and quite a few surprises and announcements as well as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake. So guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. What are your thoughts about Tony Todd talking about how this game is massive? Do you think that Tony Todd may be referring to also the size of the game, story-wise, story and length, maybe perhaps the maps, other parts of New York City being explored and accessible? Who knows? I mean, we can go on and on into further details about how massive this game is. And that's only good news because when a Spider-Man game involves a character such as Venom, you kind of do want to explore that story. You want quite a lengthy game when you're gonna get Venom. And the longer it is, the better for me, in my opinion, because since when did having more Spider-Man hurt anybody anyways? And that's pretty much it. You heard it from the man himself, at least one of the cast members, official cast members, that is, of Marvel Spider-Man 2. This game is gonna be massive, and I'm so excited to hear something like that. And it's no wonder why Insomniac Games is taking their time, and the game is gonna be released in 2023. So with all that being said, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it was a bit of a short one, but there really wasn't much to discuss. But you let me know down below. Comment down with your best thoughts and theories about this game and why do you think this game is going to be massive. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And I will see you all in the next comic panel. Will one of you finally give me what I desire?